Image, ITV, Paul O'Grady is looking forward to his first Christmas with his new husband, as well as his daughter, two grandchildren and an assortment of dogs, sheep and owls. The televeteran and ballet dancer Andre Portasio had been together for 11 years, but only tied the knot in August. Although they still live in separate houses, they will celebrate the festivities with his daughter Sharon and her two children at Paul's house. The Lily Savage star, 62, said, This is our first Christmas married. I'm looking forward to it. Getting married has been good. So much has happened this year. Normally I can take or leave Christmas but this year, because the grandkids are coming, it will be great. I put up all the lights on the tree and I put all the decorations on and the dogs go, oh fabulous, you've brought an indoor toilet in. Eddie the Chihuahua Cross came straight in and peed up the tree. He added, on Christmas Day I will get up and see the animals, the sheep, the owls, the dogs. The dogs will get a bit of turkey. They are always there waiting for the food to come out. I do all the cooking. I'm like the cooking Alice in Wonderland. I'm like a maniac, chucking pepper everywhere. We all have a drink. It's lots of fun. Paul he was seeing Andre, 37, in his 2012 biography still standing. He wrote, our relationship just crept up on us. It took us by surprise when we were least expecting it. Guests at their London wedding included actor Ian McKellen, comedian Julian Clary and former EastEnder, now Lord, Michael Cashman. And Paul's work with animals around the world continues. Paul O'Grady, for the love of dogs at Christmas will go out on Christmas Day. Viewers will see Paul take dogs from Battersea Dogs and Cats home to visit young patients at Great Ormond Street Hospital. He said to get the tissues ready. The show is one of these that will make people cry happy. We took the dogs into the children's hospital. The kids are the business. They are so brave, the little kids. It will break your heart. He also tries to find homes for assorted strays and wants to advise people not to buy pets as gifts this year. He said, the worst time of the year to buy an animal is at Christmas, people, lights, wires. It's very confusing for the animals. I always say never buy a cat or dog or any animal at Christmas. You get a lot of puppies coming into Battersea after Christmas. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment your opinion, share this video and subscribe to my channel. New videos are uploaded every day.